Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Gary B., the casual comic guy here. And uh, another week, another new comic book day. So we're going to go over the haul, what I picked up <clears throat> from my uh, local LCS, which is Rhino's Comics. And um, see what goodies I have. Now, as always, I already bagged and boarded everything because I just can't leave them undone except for the magazine. So we got a uh, Creeps issue 27. Beautiful Ken Kelly cover there. This is a great classic um, horror style magazine, guys. If you used to like Eerie and all those other big ones, really great. Okay, we got <clears throat> uh, Star Wars Adventures uh, no, starting a new um, mini series. The other one just ended. Okay, we have Star Wars 7. Now, I'm a casual Star Wars fan, and I watch the movies, of course. I love The Mandalorian, uh, but I'm not diehard Star Wars. And so I started picking up the couple new series that started. I picked up this series. I read the first six issues last week, and I got to say, I was really impressed. I thought they were spectacular. It takes place after Empire going into Return. And the way they're filling the time and the story they're telling has been really great to me. I've found it really captivating. I really like the character building. <clears throat> They've done great stuff with Luke, Leia, and especially Lando. Lando's been awesome. Uh, next, another great cover. Oliver Copil looks like. Uh, so Thor number eight. I love that. Thor's just eating a sandwich while the new Thor's getting his uh, butt whooped. Okay, we have a reprint of Marvel Fanfare 10, just the, the Black Widow issue. Everybody's pretty familiar with this, I'm sure. You can still get the, the original. It's not too pricey. Okay, uh, True Believers 1, just a classic Daredevil story with the Black Widow and Daredevil. Again, these are a dollar reprint issues. These that just came out. So, uh, Purchase for My Kid, Cuphead, Comic Capers, and Curios. This is based on a video game, and uh, my son loves it, so this is just going to be a little surprise for him, a little $10 book. You know, whatever keeps him reading. <clears throat> Ultraman, number two. Just going to collect all, I think it's a five-issue run, and get all five of these, and then I'm going to read it up. Some really cool art, and I've been heal healing. Eww. I've been hearing great things about this, so... All right, The Sumerian, number two. People of the Black Circle. I'm hoping, I haven't read the first one yet, all of these are always two-parters, got a couple different covers here, and I'm hoping that this adaptation is better than the first two adaptations um, that they brought over here and um, republished. I wasn't too impressed with the first two, I'm hoping to be impressed by this one, always optimistic, always hoping for the best. All right, It Eats What Feeds It, issue two, yes, I already have it. Well, why have one when you can have two, especially of a good series like this? If you miss the boat on this, better get the next ship out because this is amazing. Um, get um, the trade if you have to or go to Scout Comics and order issues one and two. Uh, it's only going to be three issues. Uh, great little horror series. Highly recommended I mean, by me, so take that for what it's worth. You may have vastly different tastes than me, but... I think that's a spectacular series. I've been super impressed with it. <clears throat> All right. Alien, the original screenplay, issue three. I don't know if this is four or six issues. I got both covers. Of course, I think I like the classic uh, poster homage covers that they've been doing the best. But I uh, can't wait to read this. I'm a big fan of the original film. I like the second film quite a bit too. And I even like the fourth. The third film is the only one I don't really care for. Uh, I really like Prometheus, and I did not like Covenant. All right. Horizon Zero Dawn, issue three. All right, that's a great Momoko cover. I know she's hit or miss with a lot of people, but this cover is uh, great. Good action shot. Really highlights the character. I don't know. I just think this one really, really is good. Cap captures quite a bit. All right, J. Lee cover here, uh, Red Sonia, issue 20. So this uh, this run is getting close to its end. This is wrapping up with issue 24, so we got four issues left. 
with how fast they're putting these out, it might be another two weeks and we're all done with it because they've been spitting this out. Um, but it, it's been a good run with this uh, writer. Um, I can't remember the writer's name. Let me take a quick look. And, of course, it's not on the first page because they want to make things difficult for me. All right, it's not in the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth page, so let's see. Wow. Okay, uh, Mark Russell. I don't know why that was such a hard name for me to remember. But Mark Russell's writing has been really good on this series. I've been really enjoying it. Spy Island number two. Mm -hmm. I really, really liked Spy Island one, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. Uh, Spies in the Bermuda Triangle with a little bit of horror. I'm a sucker for anything Bermuda Triangle. I think it's one of those concepts that you can just mine for all the creativity that you can drum out so just really good stuff really fun stuff and every take is valid because it's one of those one of those mythologies where it can be anything so why not let it be anything all right and last two are both black widow number two really nice cover there i think that's an homage to something that i can't remember definitely looks like a movie poster this I know is an homage, and I made sure I ordered this through uh, previews because I wanted this. <clears throat> and this is Tomb of Black Widow, obviously a Tomb of Dracula um, homage, and just, I think this is the cover of the week, actually, right here. I love this cover. And I said on a video last week when I did an unboxing, I love how they're doing the old style, and um, just really nice. Look at that. All right. But that's it. That's all I picked up for this week, guys. Well, not it. That was quite a lot of books. But um, let me know what you picked up. Let me know if you like what I picked up. Uh, leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you feel like. Uh, let me know um, how you're feeling about the comic call videos if you want me to continue doing them. And uh, as far as future content on the channel goes... I got a great interview coming up covering the top 10 DC keys. Um, shooting that later today or tomorrow with um, um, someone I met locally that's a huge collector, has a, an enormous collection, and has great comic knowledge. His name is David Bonifant. And um, can't wait to sit down with him and talk top 10, maybe not top 10, just top affordable DC keys so that ought to be a great discussion DC comics and keys is not something I know a whole lot about and I want to round out the content a little more I just don't want to be Marvel all the time because there's a whole other side of great content that's just not for me but it's great content so um, great stories great artists great great everything um, characters that a lot of people connect with that I don't necessarily and um, that's great and that's cool. That is exactly what is so great about comics. There is something out here for everybody. But um, that's it for now. And until next time, guys, be safe, be happy, and keep it casual.